Hey guys, thanks for clicking on my video. Today I'm going to be quickly going over and reviewing the pros and cons on my Hunt Shield 24 gun gun cabinet. This product has been on the market for a few years now. I've personally owned mine for just under a year. Some things I do and some things I do not like about it. I will be going over everything with you. Um, this was not given to me. I purchased it myself at Canadian Tire. When you go on their website, there isn't a whole lot of information about it other than its dimensions, the fact that it's fire resistant, type of steel used, uh, the door locking mechanisms. Uh, there's some other information on there, but uh, there isn't a whole lot of pictures going over what the inside looks like. In fact, there's actually no pictures on their website uh, showing you what the inside of the safe looks like. So uh, this is a quick view of it empty. I do have the safe full and set up to my likings. I just pulled everything out so you could see what the inside looks like. Yeah, this is an honest review on the safe. There isn't a whole lot of information out there. I couldn't personally find any videos going over the this safe when I purchased it. Um, I know I was hoping to find some reviews that were helpful, but I wasn't able to find any, so hopefully this is able to help somebody. All right, now that we're done with the intro to the video, let's get to the actual review of the safe. How's it going, guys? I'm doing a review on my Hunt Shield 24 gun safe. I've had it for just about a year now. Uh, I do actually recommend it. It is on the cheaper side for saves, but it seems to be pretty high quality. I picked it up at Canadian Tire on sale for about $200 off. I got it for about $900. It's regular around eleven or twelve hundred Canadian dollars. Um, it's been great for me so so far. There's a couple of things I don't a hundred percent like about it, but for the price, it is pretty much as good as you're gonna get. Uh, starting from the outside, it is twenty three and a half inches wide, fifty five inches tall, and twenty and three quarter inches deep. Yeah, but that's, again, from the exterior measurements. The inside measurements are going to be slightly smaller. Uh, so starting with the actual uh, combination lock itself, it isn't the highest quality. As an option to turn the sound off, normally it does beep every time you press the buttons. Um, it seems to be pretty good. It locks you out, I think, at three incorrect inputs. And then uh, you have to wait before you're able to put in the combination again. And there is the option where you can unscrew it and you are able to put the lock, the actual key lock it comes with in here if the battery ever dies or you somehow lock yourself out of the safe. And there is a very easy way to reset the combination, but you have to have the safe door unlocked to do so, so you don't have to worry about someone breaking in. So next, I'll talk about the actual locking door mechanism. Not the biggest fan of this. They definitely cheaped out on this portion of the safe quite a bit. I've, like I said, I've had it for a year and these unscrew, the actual handles unscrew very easily. Doesn't matter how hard or do you tighten them by hand, they'll never stay. I would, haven't gotten around to it, but I'm thinking I'm going to put some Loctite on these threads because just on uh, everyday use it slowly backs off and about every month or so i have to give these good hand tightenings and so that they don't come loose because all three of them are actually loose um another thing i want to talk about is it has the ability to be bolted down onto the floor um there's four holes on the bottom of the safe itself that you can bolt it down straight into the floorboard and there is the ability to have um, electrical uh, being wired into the safe, which is in the back top corner. So I'm going to open up the safe. All right, so starting from the door, it's got the ability to hold uh, six handguns here. I live in Canada, and it's not legal to purchase handguns at the moment. Hopefully they change this, so I'm currently just using it to... Hold some cash, some magazines for my rifles. And then in the bottom here, I just got spare parts and whatnot. The bolts to bolt it down to the floor. Haven't gotten around to that. So what it comes with is this middle divider wall right here. 
as well as the three shelves. Uh, the top T piece here for the middle dividing wall and one large shelf that has a cutout on the top for long barrel rifles. So, uh, how I mentioned before, the electrical um, hole is located right here. Uh, that's where you have to run it through, which is kind of an odd position to have the electrical. Kind of sucks. I mean, it would make a little bit more sense, I think, to have it at the bottom, but uh, I made it work on the top. I just uh, screwed my power bar straight up there. Ended up working pretty good. I have enough room to do everything I want. And then I just ran the electrical from my light system. That's the um, sensor. So the lights automatically turn on when the door opens. And then I just kind of have it half-assed, wired, and hidden. Coming down to you know, the floor, it wraps, the lights wrap all the way around the top up, up of the door. And then I've also got a dehumidifier here, uh, as well as a temperature gauge and a humidity reader. All of these I uh, picked up on Amazon, actually. Uh, I think the dehumidifier here was around a hundred dollars the lights were i think about sixty dollars it's just um six LED, or eight led panels six or eight uh six led panels sorry and they all just connect into each other and you wire them in a big loop you can uh disconnect them if you don't need all six but it comes in a pack of six and then this dehumidifier or the uh, thermometer here I think was about $15 also on Amazon so the way I have this set up oh and before I forget these are these shelves are movable it just goes off of these little pegs and they are quite adjustable every half inch there's another option for you to move them and you can set these shelves up however you like so we'll be going over how I have the safe set up so obviously I have the big shelf up top. You don't need the big shelf any stretch of the imagination. Uh, you could completely remove it. Uh, I like it. Obviously it adds extra storage. I just got a whole bunch of empty boxes and stuff up there. I got a cleaning kit and whatnot up here. And some of my watch boxes as well as optic boxes up here. Uh, I'm probably going to pull most of that out of there once I get uh, actual proper watch box. Because as you can see, I just kind of have my watches laying around here. I am looking to uh, purchase a nice watch box for those. Uh, which should free up a little bit of room down here and up top. So below that, I have uh, my firearm cleaning kit. Which you've already seen, I have my um, thermometer sitting on top of. And I've got a couple extra barrel chokes and uh, the tool to switch out the chokes on my Benelli. As well as the two-round plug that I took out of it. And I just keep my sling up here as well. Because, well, it's just kind of the most convenient spot for me to put it. Um, this next uh, shelf here, the big long one, you don't really have a choice. You kind of have to put it there. Because it sits inside of this middle dividing column here there's actually as you can see it's inset right there so you could technically remove this middle dividing wall but this top shelf droops quite a bit if it isn't sitting directly on top of it so i don't necessarily re recommend doing that i would not actually call this a 24 gun safe which most safes are like that they over advertise what they can actually fit in here uh, I think you could fit about six guns in the one compartment here comfortably. So I'd like to add a side note, depending on which rifles you have, you would likely be able to fit eight rifles on the one half of the safe, and you are actually able to completely remove all of the shelves on that I have on the right-hand side of the safe to fit another eight rifles. As well as handguns, the six handguns, which uh, if you don't live in Canada you could easily get or if you already own some in canada and they got grandfathered in good for you i guess sucks that you can't shoot them but it is what it is right now hopefully that changes sometime in the near future next to that i just have a couple shelves set up 
uh, shelf here. I just have a couple of the watches I wear the most, uh, a lighter, my pairs of glasses and a couple of bracelets here. Um, again, I'm looking to get a nice watch box to put all that stuff in, kind of free this shelf to put other shit on. This is kind of just like my miscellaneous shelf. I've got my uh, headphones for when I go shooting, noise canceling headphones there. A uh, magazine for my 243 bolt action rifle I've got there. Or the uh, Savage Axis. Uh, just optics cover for my Hollow Sun I've got on my 9mm. Uh, Multi tool, flashlight, uh, just uh, microfiber cloth, a couple tools here, as well as a couple more pairs of sunglasses I have. And below that, these next two shelves are where I store all my ammunition. These shelves actually perfectly fit these ammo cans, which I also got from Canadian Tire. Um, this is what they look like. Uh, the Plano Field Box. Uh, I think they were $17 at Canadian Tire. They do have a larger version that you can pick up for, I think, about $25. But obviously they wouldn't fit as well as this. Like they fit perfectly. There's maybe like a quarter of an inch extra that can fit in these shelves if you put two of them side by side. Uh, you could definitely make it so you stack them. I don't know how uh, strong these little pegs are though. So I wouldn't recommend stacking more than two ammo cans per shelf. Uh, you definitely could, though, if you don't have them filled to the top and they aren't very heavy. I mean, that's definitely one way of going about things. And then down below here, I have a slightly larger compartment. I, again, have two more or, um, ammo cans down here, for, and I have them sorted by caliber, as well as a couple loose shotgun shells. I have a couple extra boxes sitting up there, and then some more 243 ammo. Um... So some things I don't necessarily like about the safe. I mean, these are whatever. This is these little things pop off. This is where you can bolt down the safe to the floor with some uh, bolts that are provided. Um, I mean, it's an option. Like, do what you want. I don't really find that necessary. If someone is committed enough to drag this safe out of my house to steal what's in it, uh, they'd be willing to. And have the time to somehow cut those leg bolts or just rip it straight out of the floor. I'm not too concerned about that. I mean, maybe that'll bite me ass in the future, but uh, I guess it is what it is. Um, some things I don't like about this is when I went to go wire in the electrical here, you had to pop out, obviously, all the shelves and stuff have to get to it and you had to actually pull the back wall out and to do so you had to pop the floor out as well this is just um like a particle board that's wrapped in like felt um these are not the highest quality my brother actually has this exact same safe that i do and when he was popping out the back to run the electrical in for it he actually broke the big back piece here that runs along the entirety of the back he snapped it like right in the middle when he was trying to pull it back you do have to like kind of improvise like some kind of um, pry tool i just had a shitty little husky screwdriver that i bent into a 90 degree to make it hook to hook back in there and pull which seemed to work pretty good you just got to be pretty careful with it these boards do have a bit of flex to them but they will break as i've stated before um other than that uh these shelves are pretty cheap you can kind of see how the felt is kind of coming off on them the one shelf i have it this one spun around the entirety of the back is starting to peel off the entire front face so i just spun it around to try and hide it um which it is what it is. You could put a little bit more like Gorilla Glue or something on there. And I'm sure it would hold. But again, these aren't the highest quality the safes you can ever get. I'm sure a Liberty is like a lot better. But I didn't have the kind of capital to drop five, ten thousand $10,000 on a safe. This was only $900 when I purchased it on sale. Uh, altogether though, I do definitely recommend 
these safes. I think for the money, they are great and probably the best safes you can find on the market for this uh, price range. Uh, thanks for watching this video. That's going to um, cover the entirety of this video. Love it if you could drop a like and possibly even subscribe. I'm pretty new to this. I will likely be doing a review on some of the firearms I have in there and possibly a couple other things. But yeah, thanks.